Hi, I'm Garrett from Thor Moto Coach, and this here behind me is the Thor Omni Super C. So on the Thor Super C, we have four floor plans, the SB34, XG32, and the RB34. Those three are four by four. We also have a BH35 that is four by two. So the four by four floor plans give you convenience and ease of mind getting in and out of campsite, easier for boondocking, but it does have the four by four um, platform there as well. Now the Super C is built on the Ford F550 chassis. Now when it comes to driving and power, this is one of the best driving motorhomes that we offer. It has a 10,000 pound hitch, but also is able to tow all 10,000 pounds. You can fully load this with cargo and still be well within your weight ratings while you're towing. Now the body itself is made of a high strength military grade aluminum alloy. It also features an undercab made of 95% high strength steel. Now with the weight savings from the aluminum alloy, Ford was able to put in stronger axles and suspension components. Now this, so when it comes to diesels, it's all about fuel systems. So this new 6.7 power stroke now comes with a 36,000 PSI fuel injection system up from 30,000 on the previous model year. Now with this new injection system, it delivers fuel up to eight times per stroke, delivering more fuel optimizing combustion. Also to handle the added pressure and power, Ford added in stronger blocks, heads, rods, and bearings. There's also new steel pistons in there as well, a lot like you would find on class seven and eight trucks. Now, there's also a redesigned turbocharger. This is a variable geometry turbocharger. What Ford really did was they redesigned the vane structure. By redesigning this, what they did was optimize airflow. There is no air leakage in this turbocharger, increasing airflow through that turbocharger. Also, there is going to be a new 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, with all this being said, you're gonna have increased power ratings from of 330 horsepower and 825 pound-feet of torque, up from 750 pound-feet of torque previously. Also, selectable drive modes. Also, you're gonna have lane departure warning and automatic emergency braking. Those are a part of Ford's advanced safety package. Now, inside the cab itself, there is a bunch more features that we're gonna talk about here in a second. Now, the cab itself, it is the XLT model. So what you're gonna have is a lot of luxury features on the inside here you are gonna have power adjustable driver's seat, you're gonna have adjustable pedals, telescoping steering wheel, but you're also gonna have the Ford Sync 3 system inside there as well. So that's gonna have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now with that system, you just plug in your phone, you have all your apps in your phone right up there. It's very convenient. It also has Ford's GPS in there as well, Sirius XM and Bluetooth connectivity. When you are making a call or you're trying to find your GPS, one touch on the steering wheel will be, allow you to access Siri through your phone and do everything that you need to do. Now, you're also, the, in the gauge cluster itself, you're able to see your depth levels, your um, oil life, you're able to see both fuel tanks, front and rear fuel tanks, and you do have a Ford brake controller in, in there as well. What that does is restricts exhaust flow in that turbocharger, creating back pressure, slowing the engine. That's gonna increase handling going downhill, um, regardless of the vehicle load or the road grade. That's all controlled right by a button on the instrument panel. You're also gonna have a Ford brake controller in there as well, connected with the seven pin connector in the back. And you do have your four wheel shift on the fly adjustments in there. You do have a two wheel high, four wheel high, and a four wheel low, very easy to maneuver. Now, you do have your climate control functions on the inside, and you do have leather wrapped uh, passenger driver seats. Those are actually gonna match the upholstery inside the cab itself. Now, when it comes to safety, this is really one of the best it is when it comes to safety. You got passenger and driver airbags, side curtain airbags. It's very, very safe to drive. Now, when it comes to perimeter view, you have a lot of cameras at your disposal. You're gonna have a side view camera located on both sides of the actual motorhome, and you have a rear view camera. So in place of your rear view mirror, you're gonna have an LED monitor. That's always gonna show your rear view camera whenever it is on, but whenever you engage your blinker left or right, it's gonna display your side view cameras up on that front monitor. And it's a nice location because you're used to looking out of that like your rear view mirror, so it's just very natural when you're driving down the road. And what you're gonna find when you are driving this is you don't see that overhead bunk when you're driving, and with the side view mirrors, it's a very, very comfortable ride. You don't feel like you're driving a 35-foot motorhome. Also, a nice comfort feature is you are gonna have all weather floor liners on both passenger and driver's side to keep things more clean because you are gonna be in muddy conditions sometimes, especially if you're boondocking. Uh, but a lot of features up front here. There is six auxiliary switches Ford adds in that you can tie into if you're adding any aftermarket feature up there as well. A few features to point out on the front of the cab here. 
What's really impressive, I talked about that redesigned turbocharger, and what Ford was really trying to do was maximize airflow going into that turbocharger. So what they did was they redesigned this grow up here. So these bars used to be together. They separated it to allow more air going in there, increasing efficiency. Also, you're gonna have custom skirting up front um, to give it a sharper look. You are gonna have the Ford bumper underneath that as well. But up front here, you are gonna have 3M paint protection up on the nose. And as well, up top, a few things to also point out is you are gonna have a one-piece fiberglass front cap. That front cap eliminates extra seals that you would generally get on a lot of motorhomes. So that equals less maintenance. Also, you have an automotive windshield up top. That's gonna allow a lot more natural light into the motorhome itself, eliminating a lot of that claustrophobic feeling. All of our customers just absolutely love this new automotive windshield up top. Also, what this really does around the side here, both wing walls are gonna be made of fiberglass and it is a curved design. So a lot of motorhomes, a lot of times, that's an area that can grab a lot of the wind and act like a sail. With this curved design, it's actually going to eliminate any wind drag, creating a better drive. So all these features really add to why this is such a really well-driving motorhome. One thing I wanna talk about real quick is this does have the auto headlamp feature from Ford. So it's really convenient on the left side of the cockpit. One adjustment, you can put your lights on auto and that way they turn on and off as needed as it gets lighter and darker outside. So just more of a convenience factor, but a nice feature to have as well. Now the Thor Super C has 19 and a half inch aluminum alloy wheels. That's gonna help rotation, also eliminate road noise going up through the chassis. Also, on the side here, you are going to get a step up going into the cab, making getting in and out much easier. And whenever you are getting in and out, there is an entry light, so that way when you open the door, you are going to have some light there if it is nighttime. Now, your side view mirrors are extended outward. They are power adjustable and heated. You do have your blinker right here as well, so whenever you engage your blinker, your person driving next to you can see which lane you're getting over. So the Thor Super C comes standard with a full body automotive paint. It's a Sickens paint, a lot like you're going to find a lot of luxury vehicles out there. Now, this right here is our gray mountain full body paint. This is one of my personal favorites right now, but there are six different paint options between the two brands. But underneath this paint, you are gonna have a fiberglass exterior. It is vacuum bonded and laminated onto the aluminum structure. Now, it is insulated with a high density block foam insulation. So the cage itself is a full metal cage because you have a steel floor, aluminum sidewalls, and an aluminum trust roof. The roofing material is TPO, which is non-porous and UV resistant, so it requires no treating. It requires no more maintenance than a fiberglass roof and is actually much lighter than a lot of fiberglass roofes, roofs. But down the side here, you'll also see you have frameless windows throughout, so no seals that will be exposed to any elements or UV damage needing to be replaced, and all your windows are going to be awning-style windows, so you can have them open in the rain. Another feature to point out is you have a legless, carefree awning, and when you download the Vega Touch Mira app in the App Store. You can actually connect to your phone and connect directly to the motorhome and have all the functions straight from your smartphone. So one touch through the mobile app, I can actually extend the awning while I'm out here. So if you're close to a tree or another motorhome, you can make sure your slide or your awning is not going to hit anything. Also new with this model here, you are going to have the LED light strips integrated onto the arms of the awning as well, which is a really sharp look. It's going to illuminate a lot of the campsite a lot more. But another thing to point out is on that awning, you are gonna have a motion sensor. So if you get a big gust of wind and that awning moves, it will retract back in automatically as a safety feature. But you can see it gives you a great shade over the campsite and you are gonna have a vinyl UV protectant once it is fully in. Now, same thing, just like when you had an extended, what's nice with this awning is you're able to get it out with one touch and get it in with one touch. So one touch of a button, my awning's going in. I don't have to hold it the whole time and wait for it, which is really convenient. But your side view camera is located right here. Another thing I wanna point out is all of your baggage doors. Your baggage doors are gonna be side hinged and slam latched. So easy open, easy close, no rotary hinges. Inside the storage bays themselves, it's all rotocast plastic. So it's military grade plastic where it's gonna eliminate any mold, mildew, or rust. If you go hiking, you got some muddy boots, you can throw your boots in here and wash it out at the end of your trip. Now, there's drain holes in every single bay and they're also lit with LED lighting in every single bay as well. Uh, one touch through the mobile app or the controls on the inside, all your cargo lights go on. Another thing is they're on a timer, so if you forget you have them on, they'll shut off automatically, so very convenient in that sense. Now, right here is gonna be your entertainment center. 
This is gonna be a 32 inch flat panel TV that is mounted on a swivel bracket. So no matter where you have the campsite set up, everyone can get a good field of view. And down below that, you are gonna have a Bluetooth soundbar for better quality of sound. Right here in this compartment, compartment, this is going to be the motor for your hydraulic leveling system. You have a four point hydraulic leveling system controlled to the inside. So there's four jacks on each corner of the motorhome. One touch fully levels the motorhome and it's located right here. So that way, if you ever need to do any adjustments, you can do it very easy and it's very accessible. On your rear wheel right here, what you're gonna notice is you do have a valve stem extender for your inside tire. So this, it, right here, this valve stem extender is actually going to allow you to check the air pressure and add air to the inside tire much easier. So right here, you are gonna have 110 outlets. So if you have a phone you wanna charge or any other appliance at your campsite, you can plug in very easily. This is gonna be your fresh water fill. It requires no pressure. So it's a gravity fill. All you need is a water supply and you can pour it directly into your fresh water tank. Going down the side here, you are gonna have more storage and it is more double door storage. You'll notice this is pass through storage down here. So if you have longer, larger items that you wanna stow away, you can throw it in have a lot of room back here. Right here, this is going to be your LP quick neck. So if you have a gas grill or any other LP appliance, this hooks in directly to your LP tank. So what's nice with this, if you don't wanna be using your kitchen, get it all dirty, you can have your grill out here, do all your cooking, get it away from any muck on the inside of the motorhome. But what's nice is you do have a regulator on this right here so if your gas grill has a regulator on it as well, and you're not getting a strong flow of LP, just pop off the regulator on your gas grill, and that way you'll get a stronger flow of LP going to that grill itself. Then right here is your LP tank. So nice thing with this, 68.2 pounds of LP, and it's located right next to the LP Quick Connect. But a few things to remember, when you are filling this up for your first time, if it hasn't been filled up with LP before, you are gonna need to purge the air out of the tank. And another thing is there is a manual shutoff valve. So that could just shuts off supply of LP to the motorhome. So whenever you are filling up your motorhome with gas at the gas station, just shut off the valve itself. So that way you don't run into a situation where you do have a spark or something that could cause a problem. Not saying that that's gonna happen. On the backside here, you are gonna have a one piece molded fiberglass rear cap. That's gonna give you a better look to the motorhome itself, but it's also gonna protect the backside and eliminate seals. Now, you do have a nice large window going into the bedroom area itself. And you do on top of that have a rear view camera mounted at the top. That's gonna to give you a very broad field of view. And one thing I've found very useful is when you are driving and you're switching lanes, it makes it easy to see the, how far the car in the lane next to you is behind you. So you're not kind of guessing in the side view mirrors. That also has one way audio in it as well. So if somebody's spotting you and they're telling you to keep coming, keep coming and stop, you can hear them actually say that. Driver just can't communicate to the spotter. Now, your 10,000 pound hitch is back here, but also one thing to remember is you have a 1,000 pound tongue rating. You don't wanna to exceed that tongue rating because your big thing there is that correlates to the weight directly over your rear axles. And you just don't wanna put any extra weight on that rear axle. So always take your tongue rating into effect with your tow rating. Because you got a 10,000 pound hitch back here, you have a 1,000 pound tongue rating. Now your seven pin connector is back there as well. So if you have a brake system, you can just connect that very plain and simple. Also, you have a rear ladder going all the way up to your roof. It's not so you can have a patio up in the roof, but it's so you can do your yearly maintenance. You have seals up there that you need to manage. If you have, you have your self-leveling lap sealants. If you ever notice that it's dried, cracked, or peeling, just go up there, replace the sealant, and you're good to go. Also, a lot of other things up on the roof there. You are gonna have a 100 watt solar panel standard from the factory. That's gonna be charging your house batteries, giving you nice, healthy batteries at all times. Also, you're gonna have your wine guard connect up there as well, as well as a bunch of other features up there. So one thing I wanna talk about real quick is slide out operation. Talked about the Vega Touch mirror app a little bit, which is the mobile app you can connect to the motorhome with on your smartphone. So to get the slide out, you need the engine on, parking brake engaged. And when you get into the app itself, all you have to do, once the engine is on, parking brake is engaged, one touch, and you can get that slide in automatically so that way if you got another vehicle right here a park bench a tree you can get your slide out and make sure there's nothing obstructing you so more convenience in that sense you're not inside kind of guessing making sure your slide slide is getting out properly with your slide you want to make sure it goes fully out and fully in you never really want to stop halfway it's okay if you do 
All you have to do is hit the extend and the retract button six times. And once you hit it the sixth time, hold it, and the slide will run a full cycle and both motors will sync, resynchronize with each other. So more healthy for the slide out operation. Also, on top of the slide itself, you are going to have awning toppers that come standard over every single slide out. So that's going to keep debris clear of any of the slide outs. There are seals on the inside so that way no water gets in when the slide goes in as well. So on the back side here, this is just going to be more storage and a lot of storage space through there as well. You got a lot of storage space there. This is going to be your furnace, 35,000 BTU furnace. One thing to always remember is this is going to get hot right here. So when you do have the furnace running, just make sure you're not um, you are clear that exhaust. Also, every cutout in our sidewall, whether it's a furnace right here, window, storage compartment, it's all pre-framed out in aluminum. It has an anti-wicking paint on top of that aluminum as well. That's so you don't get moisture going into your sidewalls. Right here, this is going to be your 50 amp power connection, which you see it's plugged in right now. Then right next to that, that's going to be your cable connection. So if you're at your campsite, you can plug into their cable and have some local stations to work off of. Now this right here is going to be your rear fuel fill. With this model, you are gonna have two fuel tanks, 28 gallons in the front, 40 in the rear. They switch over automatically, so nothing you need to worry about. Just worry about filling up both tanks. So with the 40 gallons in the rear, gives you a lot of fuel economy there. Right here, this is gonna be more storage, and this is gonna be the other side of your pass-through storage as well. So a lot of storage space. Then obviously right here, you are gonna have a valve stem extender for the inside tire, just like the other side as well. So it makes tire maintenance very easy. And one thing you wanna maintain is you always wanna maintain your tires. Big thing with this, you always wanna keep it, the pressures up to par, so that way it extends the life of those tires. If you don't keep up with your tire pressure, the life will be drastically reduced. Also, when you take ownership of the motorhome, one thing to always remember is once you fully load it with cargo, you are gonna to wanna to get it realigned so that way it drives properly. Because when you add the extra weight, a lot of times the chassis can just get readjusted. But just realign it once you are fully loaded. Right here, this is gonna be your city water connection. So when you're at the campsite, you can just plug directly into their pressurized water. That's gonna be the, the white hose with the blue label on it. It does have a grip filter on it as well, so that way it will not allow larger debris inside um, your piping. And then this right here, this is where your wet bay is located. So what you're gonna do is when you wanna dump your tanks, just come down here, you have the swivel hose on the drain itself, swivel the head down, connect your hose, and then once you are connected, you have a black and a gray knife valve. You're gonna dump your black first, which is your toilet water, then you're gonna dump your gray. That's gonna be your wastewater, shower, sink water. Also, you are gonna have an outside shower right here. A lot of people wonder why you have an outside shower, but the most convenient thing about having this right here is you have that sewer hose that just got all gunky and nasty. What you can do now is you can turn on hot water, you can clean off that sewer hose and then stow it nice and clean. So it makes it very convenient. A few other little tips to look after when you are using your motorhome. Tell your customer when you are using the bathroom, make sure, put a few gallons of water down the toilet so that way it has some fluid down there. So that way when you do use it, you don't get any dried up sewage. You also have a black tank flush located right here. So you just connect a normal hose and it's gonna spray water on the sides of your black tank. So that way the sensors are gonna read properly once you dump your tanks. Cause a lot of times debris might cover those sensors. You also are gonna have lighting in here as well. So that way if it's nighttime, you can see everything very easy. And what's nice is it is the double door. So that way you get a lot of space to work with, a lot of elbow room right here. This is gonna be your third generation Gerard tankless water heater. So it's on demand hot water, uses a third less propane than a lot of other water heaters out there. This is your exhaust right here. And how this works is you just have a manual button that turns this system on and you have a module in your bathroom, which we'll go into later, that you can actually adjust the temperature yourself and adjust it to your liking as well. Right here, this is the front fuel point. So this is where you're putting fuel into the front tank. Then located right here, this is your Cummins Onan quiet diesel 6,000 watt generator. This is gonna power everything inside the motorhome. Now, a big thing with this is this is an investment your customer makes in the motorhome, they should use it. Also, proper maintenance of this requires you to use it a certain amount every month. So if you have it in storage, 
what a lot of customers do is when this is in their barn or their garage in the winter months, it turns into a second man cave. So a lot of times what you do is just turn this generator on, get it running a little bit. You've got your TV on the other side, just hang out, watch TV, maybe get some uh, drinks, whatever you want to do, but just allow proper maintenance for this generator. It has a manual start and stop button on the outside, but it's also controlled through the uh, multiplex controls on the inside. Another nice feature right here is your death fill location is located right here. So to fill the death fluid, very easy right there. Also, there is a fuel gauge that shows you your death level itself. And then you got your side view camera, camera located right there. And what's really cool is you have keyless entry into the cab. So that way, if you don't want to use the keys to unlock the vehicle or you don't have them on you, you can unlock and lock the vehicle all with a touch of a button right here. Then obviously you do have the step up into the cab again, the entry light, and then you do have the power adjustable and heated side view mirrors. Your generator exhaust is located right there on the non-camping side, so that way you won't get any fumes on your camping side if you got that running. And then obviously you got your one piece fiberglass front cap right here. Um, it's just the other side of it, and you get a good view of that as well. Now, we have four floor plans, the SV34, the XG32, the RB34, and the BH35, two of which come standard with an outside kitchen. The RB34 and the SV34 come standard with an outside kitchen. That's gonna give you a nice fridge right here, two cabinets, and then a stainless steel bowl sink. And you do have the pump right here, so that way when this does fill up with water, hit the pump, shoots the water into your gray tank. Now that we're on the inside, the first thing that catches everyone's eye is this front bunk area. First thing is it is a very large bunk. It is also much lower than a lot of other bunks out there. So when you attach the ladder, it's much easier to get in and out, but you get a lot of space to throw the kids up there or if a few adults want to sleep up there as well. But you are going to notice you get that automotive windshield up front, which is going to allow a lot of natural light come in here. But if you're at a beautiful campsite, a race, whatever it is, you get a great field of view. At night, you can watch the stars up top, and you get the two side view windows for airflow up there as well. But a really cool feature is through the switch panels um, that are located throughout the vehicle, you can actually control the power shade and close off that area. So if you want more privacy or you just want to eliminate the light coming in the motorhome, you can fully close that off if need be. Now, this actual bunk area, this front piece right here is removable. So if you want to get in and out of the cab much easier, just like that, Move that up, much easier access into the cab itself. Now, up here, you are going to get the sun block out shades, privacy curtains up there if you want some extra privacy. But going into the living space, what you're going to notice, this is the new RB34 floor plan. It's the new 4x4 bunk model that we offer, taking the place as our bunk. Now, it comes with theater seating standard, and on this theater seating, you are going to get dual cup holders and more storage space right here for remotes or whatever else you might have. But what you're gonna notice is it gives you a great field of view of the TV itself. So you can just sit back, you don't have to turn your head, you don't got a swivel TV, it gives you a straight on view of the television. So nice and easy there. And then you do get the nice dinette here. So if breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you just wanna work on your laptop, you got this right here, you get one 10 outlet underneath, so that way you can plug in a uh, charger, laptop, whatever it is. But this also converts into a bed one turn right here, the dinette actually drops down, then you put these cushions on top, and then you got another sleeping area. But you get the two windows on the side of the dinette, and in this front living space, you are gonna have the sun shades, which is the first shade you're gonna see there, but you are also gonna have the privacy curtains. Those privacy curtains are all throughout the motorhome, so you will get the privacy you need um, when it is nighttime. So just like that, privacy curtains right there as well. One other thing I want to talk about as well is we have a new warranty here at Thor. It is the new six-year lamination warranty and 12-year structural warranty, which is the longest warranty in the industry. It is transferable to the second owner within 12 months of original purchase. You just need to get the motorhome inspected at a Thor authorized service provider. Going back into the um, living area, what you're going to notice is we redesigned this whole interior for the 2021 model year. We now went with a satin finish cabinetry. It is all solid wood cabinetry, but this is your dark regatta. There's also a lighter Sanibel wood. Um, but you're going to notice it has hidden hinges on the inside, and it is all solid wood, solid wood here. And no center styling on the inside that would obstruct you from putting any larger items in there as well. 
Underneath the cabinetry, you are gonna have speakers that are controlled to the inside. So you get nice house speakers as well to play some music or podcasts, whatever you have. But going up a little bit, your ceiling, it's all soft touch ceiling. So that's also gonna help eliminate noise from outside, but also give you a nice touch for the inside. Now we wanna talk about controls of the motorhome. This right here is your multiplex control panel. This controls everything inside and outside of the motorhome. So what you're gonna find on your homepage right here is you control your lights on and off through one touch. You can open that front shade. You can see your climates in the front and rear climate zones. You're also able to see the fresh water, gray water, black water, and your LP levels. And it gives you a percentage so that way you get a proper reading. You also can turn off your water pump right here, start or stop your generator, start your AGS, and you also have your house and chassis battery levels there right as well. Your second page is gonna be your auto gen start functions. Now this turns on and off your generator based on three fun features, time, temperature, and voltage. So all of these features right here, they're already preset from the factory. You don't need to change anything. So if there's a quiet time at the campsite, um, shut off the generator at 11, start it up at seven. You do it, same thing for voltage, start the generator, start up at 12.5 volts, and then start back, turn off at 14 volts. And then you just hit the HVAC load if you wanna do it by temperature. And there's two temperature sensors located underneath your cabinetry and underneath your bed that read the temperature in the two different climate zones. Right here, this is gonna be your lights. You control your cargo lights, step lights, awning lights. You can control all the lights in the motorhome. Another thing you'll notice, if you hold the button with the arrows, you'll be able to dim different areas so that way you don't get the bright lights always. Next here, you're gonna have your climate controls. A few things with your climate controls. You have two dual 13.5 AC roof air conditioners. They're controlled independently. So big thing with this, is you can just set it on auto and be done with it. But you always wanna make sure you never set the temperature lower than 15 degrees colder than the ambient temperature outside. Anything lower than that, it's gonna make the ACs work too hard. They're not gonna be able to cool down the motorhome and you're gonna freeze up the coils on the inside of those AC units and then you're just gonna be blowing hot air and you're gonna be miserable for a while. So what I recommend is the night before you go camping, start your ACs, get the motorhome nice and cooled down or while you're driving, um, turn on the generator, cool down the motorhome, so that way you get a nice cool coach by the time you get to your campsite. You don't wanna to get to the campsite when it's noon, 100 degrees outside, turn it down to 60, you'll never cool down the coach in time. So you gotta do the proper precautions, put down the shade, stop opening, stop opening the door so much, so that way you keep the coach nice and cool. Right here, this is just controls your kitchen and your mid-bath fan. You also can control your slides right here. So one touch for your dinette slide, also your bed slide. You got your awning here as well. Also remember I talked about the slides. To resynchronize the motors, press the extend and retract button six times, hold it on the six, the motors will, will resynchronize. Also you wanna make sure you hold the button for another three seconds after you fully extend it or retract it to make sure it is fully in. And then also your settings page right here, this is how you can connect to the mobile app. So the Vega Touch Mirror app is how you actually can control everything in here from your smartphone. It just operates by Bluetooth, so you gotta be probably within 30 feet of the motorhome to operate it. Uh, but you got a password to protect it, so it's very, very um, convenient. Below that, this is going to be your inverter controls. You have an 1800 watt pure sine, pure sine wave Xantrax inverter. Now that's going to operate your refrigerator. You have a residential refrigerator, so what this is really going to do is allow you to run the refrigerator without running your generator. So if you want to make sure your fridge is nice and cool by the time you get to your campsite, turn this on, and that way your coach is cooling. It's running off of your 12 volt batteries. So it's converting power from your 12 volt batteries to the 110. So very convenient in that sense. Now that we're in the kitchen area, what you'll notice here is you get a lot of counter space and you are gonna have solid surface countertops. So very easy to maintain and much more durable than a lot of the other countertops out there. But we lightened it up for this model year so that way it gives you more of a cream look um, and it stays, it's more modern. Also, you are gonna have the dual stainless steel bowl sinks. So you can have one for dirty, one for clean but you also have the adjustable faucet right here with the gooseneck extension, so that way you can clean your dishes much easier and you get the hot and cold adjustments as well. Now, everyone in the kitchen area, they always have a ton of appliances. You always wanna keep your phone charged as well, so you have the pop-up extension outlet right here, so that way you can plug in any appliance that you have, your phone, keep it nice and charged, and then you are gonna have lights under here as well. Nice storage space up above and then also you're gonna have a 30 cubic foot convection microwave. 
stainless steel look on it as well. But the nice thing with this Contour Microwave is this Contour brand uses less amps than a lot of the other appliances out there. But this does everything that an oven does. A lot of times people don't use the oven as much as they should, so this is a great feature. You can make a lot of delicious meals in here. Now, your cooktop, you get best of both worlds. You get the true induction cooktop and the two gas burners. For those of you who do not know what the induction cooktop is, it uses a magnetic force field to concentrate heat, getting things hotter faster. So if you're trying to get water to a boil, it gets water to a boil in 30 seconds. You're finding this a lot more in the residential space as well. But what's really nice is if you've got kids running through here, grandkids, they put their hand on this when it's hot. It's not going to burn them because it needs a special magnetic pan to draw the heat out. Also, right behind this, you are going to have a tile backsplash. So that way, protect the walls, make it easy to clean. But it gives you a nice look there as well. And what's really cool is we just added in this LED accenting underneath the countertop. So it gives you a great sharp look of that cabinetry and just a cool aesthetic. Underneath that area, what's really nice on this floor plan is you get nice extra storage. So a great place for pots and pans, nice pull out storage there. And then you are gonna get more drawers that open up. This is one of your kitchen, uh, more for utensils, sponges. And then you get pull out drawer there, here as well. And then just nice deep storage and then you are going to have more storage here, and that's just going to be for your waste basket that we have. On top here, you are going to have your max air fan. So talking about ventilation inside the kitchen, you do get an exhaust right here that's just blowing air into the area. But if you want a good exhaust, I would open that window right there, turn on this fan, and get a good airflow coming into the kitchen. Also, you are going to have a 16.6 cubic foot residential refrigerator that also has an ice maker in it as well it is a GE brand but it has a nice lock here so when you are driving you don't have a milk jug flying out but just a great look a lot of storage space inside that refrigerator that runs off of your inverter or when you're plugged in or you have your generator turned on so a lot of functions there and then this is just your switch panel that operates a lot of the functions in this area so your water pump if you want to use the sink um, the kitchen lights dinette lights um, and then your fan of course and one thing I want to point out is the trim on your slide out. This is all new for the model year as well. So it's all the solid wood trim, but it has that beautiful accenting in there as well to give you a nice cool um, kind of homey feeling. But you'll notice we got the decor kit as well. This is our vanilla twilight decor. We have three different decor options. You got the vanilla twilight, you have a waterfall, and you also have a black diamond. In the bathroom, what you're gonna notice is you have beautiful cabinetry up top and you're also going to have a stainless steel bowl sink as well with a porcelain toilet with the foot flush. The shower is going to have a solid shower door with a stainless steel sprayer that is controlled through the inside. But you're also going to notice you do have your controls for the third generation Gerard tankless water heater. So the controls are on that as well so that way you can adjust your temperature very easy to do. You're also going to have a medicine cabinet and a lot of towel holders and areas that you can use. But take note, it is a fully ventilated bathroom. You have air in, heat in, and air out. So a fully ventilated bathroom. So we were just in the XG32. Now we are in the RB34. So the difference between the two models, this is now a bunk model. This is the 4x4 bunk model that we offer with washer-dryer combo prep. But you're going to see we're in the kitchen here. And big difference is you just saw the regatta cabinetry. This is your Sanibel solid wood cabinetry, still with that satin finish, but it's just that lighter tone. Also, the accenting is going to be a little different as well. But you can see the difference in the kitchen setup. You see that the solid surface countertops with the dual stainless steel bowl sink, induction cooktop, two gas burners, tile backsplash. But you'll notice the fridge on this one is flipped. It's on the other side. So makes also getting in and out of the fridge much easier. You're also gonna have added pantry space as well. You're gonna have five actual pull-out drawers and two larger storage areas there, so that way you can access um, food, everything much easier. So you can see right here, large pull-out drawers, very deep, five deep drawers, and then you get nice cabinetry up above. So a lot of storage space for all your, your food and other items. But talking about that, this is a bunk model. Um, now talking about the bunks, exciting to talk about is we redesigned this bunk model. So what you're gonna see is we went away from the curtains and we actually added in the solid doors. So that way 
you can actually get some better privacy in the bunk area. You're also gonna notice that these bunks do flip up. So that way, if you wanna use this area for storage, you're able to do so. You get a nice hanger in there so you can hang up all your clothes and just use this for storage. So even if you don't have kids that you're wanting to use, if you just want more storage, more closet space, you get that right here. And one thing we did was we eliminated the TVs in all of our bunks and we switched it with tablet holders. So what we were finding is kids nowadays, they're not using TVs. So what they're doing is they're on their iPads, they're on their iPhones. So we made adjustments for that. We got outlets in the bunks and we do have bracket holders. So that way it's more convenient for the kids. So one thing I wanna talk about is nowadays you got a lot of people working from home, kids doing remote learning. So all that e-learning, what a lot of customers are doing is they're doing school, working while they're traveling. So one thing we've got here is standard on every Thor motor motorhome unit is the Weingart Connect 2.0 4G LTE hotspot. Now that has two Wi-Fi functions. It has an extender. So that way if you're at a campsite, it can extend their Wi-Fi up to a mile. And if you pull off the road and you stop at a Starbucks or a McDonald's, you can attack, attach to their Wi-Fi as well. But it also has its own 4G LTE hotspot. So if you download the Weingart Connect app in your cell phone, scan the QR code in that dome or in your manual, get your credit card information out. It's an easy process. It walks you through it. And basically all you need to do is choose the subscription plan that you want and you can connect to Wi-Fi. So if you got an Apple TV, a Roku, you can plug it into the TV, hook up to that Wi-Fi and you can stream. Also what makes it convenient is it's on the go Wi-Fi. While you're traveling, it's still got Wi-Fi connection and it is a secure connection as well. So very convenient in the modern era. Now the RB34 has a new bedroom design. What you're gonna have is a queen size bed and it is a walk around bed. As you can see, I am standing on the other side. So it makes making the bed very convenient. You also get a nice, beautiful headboard on the back to give it a nice sharp look. You get the two reading lights up above as well with the speakers that are controlled through the Jensen stereo. So it gives you, you can play your music, have some podcasts going. You do get nice windows, one window here and then two others, one next to the bed and one adjacent to the bed. Now this is a sort of mattress that you have here, so it is a premium mattress, but you're also gonna have nice storage area next to the bed and on top of the bed. So deep storage and a lot of actual storage space. There is gonna be 110 and USB outlets on both sides of the bed, so that way you can charge your phone at night, or if you have some other appliance you wanna use, you can use that as well. And there is nightstands on both sides of the bed with extra space for storage underneath the nightstands. Switching over here, what you're gonna see is this is the first model that now has washer dryer prep. It's combo prep. Obviously you see the louver doors, always a telltale sign that this is gonna be washer dryer prep. So right behind here, you can put in the combo unit. You can actually access the piping. There's piping inside the wall here. That way you can connect to your water lines and put in a combo unit, wash your clothes. It's one of the things we kept getting requests for was a washer dryer. So we made that possible now. But also you're gonna see, you get a lot of storage space. You get one, two, three, four, five pull-out drawers right there to give you a lot of storage space. And you can see how deep these storage areas are. They're actually very, very deep storage bins. Um, so you got all that there. You do have an Xera TV, so that way you can watch TV from the bedroom area. The TV does pop up for more storage, so that's very convenient. Now, you might not have the wardrobe space right here, but we talked about that bunk area. If you want to use that bunk for extra closed space, you can do that. It has that pop down bunk so that way you can hang your clothes and you got the hanger up there. So a lot of closet space as well. Everyone always wants privacy in the bedroom area. So one thing on all the models we made standard is a pocket door. It is a solid pocket door and it closes fully as you can see here. So nice privacy inside the bedroom. So that way if you got kids up front, you can sleep with a little more privacy there. I wanna talk about some of the basic functions down in the entryway right here. Now, the Thor Super C comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel from the factory. This right here is your solar controller. It is a 10 amp solar controller. It has 10 gauge wiring going from that solar panel down to this controller, down to your battery bank, which is located right beneath these steps here. You get two 12 volt house batteries and room for four total if needed. But right here, this is the other location of your 1800 watt Xantrax inverter. It's gonna be different to paste on floor plan. It's either gonna be by the bathroom door or located right here then this is your main power switch. So one thing you wanna remember is whenever you're using your motorhome, you always want your main power switch on. That's gonna allow you to charge your batteries. It's gonna charge in different ways, whether you're driving down the road, when you have your generator running, 
when we are plugged into power or when you have the solar panel charging on a nice sunny day. Those are all going to keep your batteries nice and charged. That's something just always remember whenever you have that on, batteries will also be charging. Also, we touched on the leveling system briefly earlier when I showed you the motor for it. But right here, this is going to be the controls for your hydraulic leveling system. Extremely easy to operate. To do this, you need to have the engine on, parking brake engaged, and all you do is hit the on button and you hit auto. And it's going to automatically level the motorhome. You can also manually do it by holding the manual button and going side by side. You got different arrows controlling the front jacks, left jacks, rear jacks, and right jacks. It'll tell you if the jacks are down. It'll also tell you which ones need to be leveled. And then when this lights up green, you know the jacks are fully leveled. When you are leveling the motorhome, just make sure you're not moving around on the inside so that way it reads properly. And then when you're done, just hit the retract button. Jacks will retract automatically.